Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be filming a brand new video and today we're actually gonna be filming with today, we're gonna to be filming with the Tapetillo collection. I'm surprised I haven't done the whole video yet. To be honest, I didn't do the video because I didn't have the full collection on me. I didn't have the lip glosses um, around the time this first launched. I didn't wanna do a full video like off around the whole collection and then not have like the lip glosses in front of you for you guys. So today we're gonna to be doing a full video on it. Not gonna do no review, just like a little tutorial using the products because I hadn't used them on camera for you guys and I really wanted to show you guys a little look with them. So if you guys wanna see how this look turns out, then just keep watching. you guys so now i'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it if you guys haven't already this is the these are the palettes they are super freaking cute they're so adorable these are the palettes this one this one is super cute this is probably my favorite one because of this shade right here caliente i'm always using this shade like just for my crease like i know it looks super light but the way it transfers on my eyes when i do like a super light base like this oh my god it's so cute i love using that just for like that shade and that's it this is the other one and this one as well is super cute i didn't really care for this green shade in here if i'm gonna be honest with you guys i thought it was a little random but obviously it's um going on so like whatever you know and then this is the other one and this one as well super cute and this is the beauty blender it's so adorable i want to show you guys how this looks i wasn't going to use this because I have so many beauty blenders open right now. If y'all can only see my beauty blender drawer. But I really thought might as well, right? Cute, it's an actual freaking like, um, what is it called? You know, red hot drip. I don't know what, you know what I'm trying to say. This, you guys, is the lip glosses, which I'm also really excited to show you guys. So this is how they come. It comes with a set of five. I have like an orange shade, a red, a clear gloss, and then a purpley red, and then a nude. And yeah, it's, I think it's a really cute collection. I really loved everything in here. I have a another video coming up with the, uh, the Peep collection. So if you guys want to see that, please let me know in the comments. I will get that out for you pretty soon. I think it's going to be probably after this one. Let's get it, just get into it. Um, I'm going to go here really quick. I'm going to probably just go in with a sponge and just use it just to like add some baking powder. So I'm not going to go and wet it because I'm not using it for concealer or anything. I'm just going to use it just to put some powder underneath my eyes. And today I just received this in the mail from Makeup Revolution. This is an old product, but I just got on their ambassador program or whatever to that. I'm just going to use just a little bit of it just so I can add like a little set of powder so in case any fallout comes down we're pretty much gucci guys right, so let me know if you guys want to see a little routine on the base makeup um i've really been loving my base makeup recently i was going to do a full video like a little dewy makeup not actually this is not dewy but i was going to do my base makeup routine um uh, before this but I'll, as you guys know i've been gone for like three weeks now and i promise i was doing so good i was you know i was doing well but then it started getting like too hard for me so much pressure on me like just on me it wasn't like towards anyone it was mainly me and i was like pushing myself like come on let's go let's go let's go videos 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 start to freak myself out a little bit i need to get over that on the brows i tried something new today which i actually pretty much like them it looks really good on camera also i really like the way it looks um but i tried today the wet and wild brow obsessive um brow shaping gel and then the brow pencil if you guys want to see a little little tutorial on that i have it on tiktok and on instagram but i do suggest you guys go check it out on instagram if you guys don't follow me i have brandon lux okay now what you guys actually came here for because i know you guys are like okay girl let's get into the tutorial here with some um abh eye base i've been using this forever now i like to go in with my sponge which i should have gone in with the tapetillo one but again it's not wet so i don't want to like do too much you can tell i obviously have like uh i wouldn't i wouldn't say this is blonde but i mean i guess you can say dirty blonde ashy blonde if you will not fully what the color is supposed to be so like ignore that you know we're gonna we're, we get you know how the blonding the blonde process works it usually takes a while so this is like maybe like my third session i think it's been my third session i think yeah this is my third session i had brown hair for a good minute I'll put some pictures here. I had brown hair for a good minute. I just never, I didn't post a video or YouTube video. So um, I'm just gonna go here. We're gonna first dip into this one. This is one of my favorite ones. Again, this is my favorite one because it's just more like, it has like more natural neutral options for me. 
but we're gonna go into the shade called Sizzle first. So I'm gonna go in here with the Profusion uh, Firm Blending Brush. This is one of my favorite blending brushes right now. It is a little dirty because I just don't want to clean, especially my, my neutral brushes that I use all the time. I just don't feel like ever cleaning. But we're gonna get into this, okay? So we're just going to pack her in. Okay, we're just gonna do like a little moment here. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty easy look. I'm doing a look that I kind of did um, a long while back with the, what is that one collection called? Uh, the Is it called Brain Freeze collection or whatever Brain Freeze, it has like the, I don't know, oh, the Mini Breaker. I did a look with the Mini Breaker palette a while back, oh, literally months ago. And maybe, actually, you know what, probably been a year ago now since then. But anyways, um, I did a look and I wanted to recreate that, but like a newer. Going in with that brown shade, just tapping it in because this shade is so pigmented. It's so easy to apply. So I really love going in with this one. Okay, and then we're gonna go into this shade Caliente and it's one of my favorite colors in here. And we're just gonna use that in here in the inner corner parts. And we're just gonna use that to just blend because I don't want to add too much depth because we're going to go in with liner and I want it to look like very more de deppy. Now, is that a word? Deppy? Over here. If it's not a word, I'll make it a word, girl. We're just going to go back and apply a little bit more just so we have that really nice blend. Or not blend, depth, okay? But yeah, look at that shade. Isn't it so pretty? in with that shade called hot spot and that is just a gorgeous shade okay and now i'm gonna go in again with that shade saucy make sure you guys see that that orange shade again and i'm just gonna use this and pop it into my inner corner okay again if you guys remember this look leave it in the comments just gonna start applying this i think all the way over here this orange i, for I forgot how freaking pigmented it was and i'm gonna go back into that shade sizzle and a little bit of tap that because i feel like that shade might help blend because it's a little bit on the warmer side and we're just going to use that to blend under here so you guys can see oh so i don't remember if i did or not but i'm going to go in here with the norvina abh anastasia abh norvina collection and this is the electric cake pop liners and i'm going to use the electric orange and obviously look how gorgeous this color is i'm just going to do a little fast forward so you guys can just watch it i don't think i'm gonna do a little touch i don't think i'm gonna do like a step by step i think you guys could just watch me do it and hopefully you can follow along if you guys can if you guys want a full more in-depth video on how to do graphic liner um again leave it in the comments and i will definitely get that up All right, you guys, so this is the look. I'm only laughing because I just got off my live and it was just such a good, good vibe. Like I always come back off my lives feeling so much better and so good. I always, I love everyone on my live, guys. If you have, or if you're ever on my live or you don't follow my Instagram, please go check out my lives because they are just so fun. Everyone on there is so uplifting. We always talk about positive stuff. It's always positive things. Of course, we have some tea talk, but you know, that's just the thing. Anyway, so I did come back. I obviously have lashes, mascara, the whole shebang on. Um, I'm still wearing the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. Let me show you guys just so you guys can see a visual. So I'm still wearing this mascara. I've been using it for a few weeks, I think even a month now. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to be going in here with the glosses. I just want to show you guys these are. They look so adorable. I don't feel like taking them out. But I am going to end up using this little shade right here. It's so funny how cute and little this is. Like, let me show you guys how funny. So this is the gloss. It's so little. Like, look at the way it is compared to my eye. And this is in the shade Bonita. Yeah, so these are all the colors right here, starting from this one, going all the way to this nude and then clear right here. Excuse my dirty hat. This is what a makeup looks like when I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, I totally should have, I should have totally cleaned it before. But yeah, so this is the shade. I think I'm gonna either dip into Bonita or 
a little bit of a tapatio, the actual tapatio one. This one's actually like a little bit on the orange side, which I would have thought this one would have been called that, but this one's called spicy, which cute. But yeah, so now we're gonna be dipping into these and I'm gonna show you guys these are the little colors I decided to go in with. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Bonita first and it's like a really pretty nude color, which oh, we all love a good nude. Just wanted to see if it had a scent. I don't think it has a scent. If it does, then it's very light, but I don't think it has a scent. It smells very makeup y to me. You know what? This lip gloss, I think, actually has the right amount of warmth or orange or peach in there. Oh, God, this color, guys. Ugh. It is a little annoying that I have to keep dipping, but it's whatever. It's still so cute. Love a good nude. Y'all know how much I love a good nude. Go in with that tapatio shade because like, I don't want to mess up this nude, but we might have to. Another shade, and this is the um, tapatio shade. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this because I feel like this could give me that orange that I'm looking for. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this look. I really hope you guys love the way this eye turned out. I think this was such an easy look. I totally forgot. I didn't even tell you guys. Totally forgot. But I ended up using this shade called Spicy Mama. It's like that really pretty orange shade. And this is from the Gold Palette. And I ended up using this right here in the inner corner. I forgot to show you guys I was going to use this. But I did end up going with this right here in the inner corner. I felt like I needed like a brightness effect like a, or a shimmer right here. I feel like it was missing something, but that yellow just wasn't it. So the orange, definitely. And here comes the buzzing. I'm starting to feel like a little bit of sensation. Again, these apparently aren't lip plumpers, but I would I would say they are because they have like a tingly feel. Make sure to let me know how you guys feel about this look and let me know in the comments any more other colorful looks you guys want to see or any products or video requests you want to see from me next. And again, make sure to go follow me on Instagram because all the tea and everything happens on there. I love being on Instagram with you guys, especially on live. It's so fun. So again, Brennan Lux. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below any video suggestions you have for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And if no one told you you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Okay, bye guys.